finally nvidia's neural angelo paper is out and this one is a different Ooh. paper we will talk about this one too now neural angelo this is nvidia's photogrammetric neural surface reconstruction tool what does that mean it means that you can scan your environment with your phone camera and out comes 3D geometry that you can use to create a virtual world for video games or have a video conference that actually takes place in this environment. So does that mean, hold up, that mean you take a picture of like a dog and then you can put a that dog in a game? So it's like, wait, so every dog is now a Pokemon. Bro, do you remember whenever they used to say way 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 back how if they took a picture of somebody it would steal your soul how is it possible that they knew about this how did they know bro how the fuck did they know about that that's crazy just a 2d image but actually being there unfortunately this is almost impossible why is that mm. well with previous techniques we can choose from two different problems one, we get intricate details in yeah. the virtual version of the scene, but with that, we also get no holes depth. and other troubles. Or, if the holes are not acceptable, that is also fine. However, then the fine details are gone. Now, couldn't they just do it in two different steps? Like, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of like, that's what, for example, a lot of people do with AI is they run it through multiple, multiple engines. Hold on to your papers, fellow scholars, and have a look at the new technique. Okay. Whoa! We can get all the high frequency details and no holes and no major issues appear in the results. That is fantastic. I did wow. not expect the results to be this much better. Just one more paper down the line. Jesus. Stunning results. That's amazing. The numerical comparisons here also reveal how much ahead of its time this technique is. Don't for okay. forget these previous methods are from just one and two years ago. That is a huge improvement across the board, especially on the barn scene. Why is that? Presumably because here the high frequency details in the trees and the roof were completely gone with the previous technique. Yeah, makes sense. And with the new one, so much better. Damn, so you can just take a picture of that and it automatically turns it into a 3d object that's fucking crazy man that is so cool like i can't like how do you even do that finally i can make a game yes every animal is now a pokemon fuck every person is now a pokemon now all this pairs incredibly well with our second paper for today magic avatar here mm -hmm. we can perform text to motion mm -hmm. and then motion to video that is great but wait a second i hear you asking doctor this is a video not 3d geometry mm -hmm. so why showcase it here well that is exactly the point now if we use neural angelo on this video we can have a real piece of 3d geometry in our virtual worlds how cool so you can like superimpose it on there that this way we can spice up an otherwise ordinary judo video Input, and even yeah. play with these characters. What the f- <laughs> oh, bro! With these characters he Damn, it's a fatality! What the fuck? Yeah! In a video game world. Oh my god! And the magic of Magic Avatar does not end there. You can really unleash your creativity. Yeah, you can turn your everyday judo class into Mortal Kombat. By using video to motion. We get a little stick figure mm -hmm. showing how the AI understood our motion. Hmm, is that valuable? Oh yes, yes it is. Now we can use this motion to create a completely new video with a new actor, but with our own motions. So it's actually really funny that uh, this that I'm watching this today because um, actually uh, I'll I'll get to that afterwards. It's the Mr. Beast AI thing. 
I have a feeling that with all of these amazing new AI papers, we are entering a world where anything to anything will be possible. Oh my God. We will be able to place ourselves in virtual worlds and these virtual worlds I'm can telling be you guys, like, it's, it's coming, bro. Like, it's coming. Sword Art Online is going to be very soon. Now, stunt doubles don't need to look like the actor. Yeah, it's huge. Highly detailed copies of the real world. Or we will be able to create new worlds from scratch, not just by text to image, but by text to geometry. Uh -huh. And these AI based techniques can also learn to animate these characters, simulate how they can interact with new kinds of objects and furniture, and they can even learn how to simulate physics itself. What the this fuck? includes fluids. Wait, so what the fuck? fire, smoke, and all kinds of physics systems. And we will be able to meet in a virtual- I wonder how, I wonder how science is gonna be able to use this to like kind of simulate physics stuff. Because like there's gonna be a point like where it's still catching up to human knowledge, but there will be a point where it surpasses human knowledge and understanding. And they'll be able to use it to like simulate like a, uh, you know, uh, like proof of concept. Version of any place on planet Earth. <laughs> wow. I can only imagine what kind of world we'll be living in just two more papers down the line. Yeah, I really? hope what you the are fuck? excited too. What a time to be alive! This video has been supported by weights and biases. That's amazing. Check out their recent offering, Fully Connected, a place where they bring machine learning practitioners huh. together to share and discuss their ideas, learn from industry leaders, and even collaborate on projects together. You see, I get messages from you fellow scholars telling me that you have been inspired by the series, but don't really know where to start. And here it is. Fully Connected is a great way to learn about the fundamentals, how to reproduce experiments, get your papers accepted to a conference, and more. Make sure to visit them through wnb.me slash papers, or just click the link in the video description. Our thanks to Weights and Biases for their long-standing support and for helping us make better videos for you. That's insane. I, I think one of the best things about this is and the fact that like, that like the AI, the functional, I think a lot of people see AI and stuff like this and they can see it being functionally useful and it acts as a, as a gateway drug into people being invested or interested in science. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I think that's very interesting, man. I like that a lot. 100% there already are and we're public. Don't forget that we get the info later than usual. True. Yeah, there's the video right there. This is really informative. I didn't know about that at all. Holy fucking shit. So you can just take a picture of something and then put it inside of a fucking reference. Dude, think about how much how much time that's going to save for like smaller developers and stuff like that that are trying to make a photorealistic game. It's just insane.